Be sure to look into our tiny house summer camp for a hands-on and building workshop with camping in Vermont on a 10-acre compound of tiny houses, shelters, and tree houses. RelaxShacks.com for the details. Up there, we'll also be shooting some new videos and working on some new builds and salvage techniques alongside Blaster, purveyors of degreasers and penetrants since way before most of us were born. Hi, we're Joshua and Shelly of tinyhousebasics.com and we're going to take you on a tour of our tiny house. It's a 374 square feet entertaining abode, so come on in and let's go check it out. So here's the inside of our uh, entertaining abode. And we'll show you one of the biggest features that people you see right when you walk up is our eight foot accordion window. So we'll show you how it opens up. Super easy. So just like that, we have an open space to the outside <laughs> and it can seat up to eight people. Uh, this is like our office, our breakfast table, dinner table, all that. So um, it's one of our favorite features of the house and it really makes the space for us. So first of all, let's go take a look inside the kitchen and we'll have Shelly show us around. So this is the kitchen. As you can see, it's a pretty big space. Um, usually Joshua and I are in here pretty comfortably. Like I'll be over here cooking or not cooking, but chopping, cooking right here. And then he'll be over here usually doing his cocktail thing. You can see we have some storage for like cocktail gear and, you know, wine holder and things like that. Um, we have in an apartment size um stove stove yeah it's oven. a g it's a ge 24 inch <laughs> yeah. uh stove that we converted to propane holds all my bakeware yep um one of the things that a lot of people like is the lazy susan which is a little disorderly but it holds a lot of stuff the door closes and it hides it so yeah. it's not a big deal and then over here is like the business side utility you know plates and everything so all of these hold a good amount of supplies Right here we have some food storage. Hold some random things. And of course our coffee corner with our uh, electric kettle, our French press, and our Chemex. Yeah, gotta have all of that. And then our favorite piece of cooking ware is our Finex cast oh, iron yes. pan. We get a lot of questions about it, so you can kind of see it's nice and well seasoned. So this thing and is very, very awesome. heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and then for our refrigerator, uh, we have uh, it's a ten and a half cubic foot micro fridge so it's actually the microwave and the refrigerator connected so they just use one plug it has like a smoke sensor built in it even has it has plenty of room for all our food and then it even has two electrical outlets on the front so we can charge our phones or do whatever um, so it's nice to have the option of a microwave and a toaster oven um, in here is our kind of our junk drawer this is the junk closet you, you don't need to see inside because it looks like everyone else's junk closet but we get a lot of questions we have not finished this this is major on our to-do list it's been there forever we'll get to it one day yeah so, <laughs> so it's our electrical of panel stuff. uh office supplies all that so it's nothing pretty yeah um and then well we have our trash can and then underneath here we have our liquor cabinet which holds a lit good amount of our spirits and it also, this is, as you can see, it's probably, it's the wheel well. So it, it's a foot rest, like a bar top. And uh, it's multi-purpose for our spirits. And in the kitchen as well, we keep our dogs here at night. I know a lot of people have asked about this too. It's the pet gate and it closes off. Closes off and then locks over here. Yeah, so this is we made by... This is made by Retractigate, and uh, it takes up just this tiny little space, and it has a little knob that locks it. And so we put our two poodles in here at night, or when we go away for the afternoon. Um, but it's a really great solution and space saving. It also works good for babies too, but we don't have that problem. Yeah. Or I mean, we don't have that privilege. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's our floating stairs that we designed that goes up to the master loft. Um, it's the backing wall is basically all two by sixes, um, and then we'll take you up to the master loft. So 
So up in the master loft, it is uh, 12 feet deep by seven feet, 11 inches wide. So since we built on one of our trailers that was 102 inches wide, we're able to maximize the interior space. So we have all these floor cubbies, which is basically our loft is set at six feet three. Um, and then we just, we have a king size bed and then we just built up around the bed. So it's cubby storage. It was originally planned for clothes, but we, we really just use it for shoe storage and miscellaneous storage. So I can take the camera and show you. So you can see this is our uh, king size bed. Um, it has, it's an eight foot, eight inch memory foam mattress plus a three inch memory foam topper plus another memory foam pillow topper on top of it. So we have plenty of head height. The higher side of the loft is my side and then the lower side of the loft is Shelly's. Uh, we have awesome windows looking out onto our oak trees. And then in the front yard. And so we'll go back down and show you the rest of the house. So here's our Kimberly stove. It's a wood burning oven um, or wood burning stove. We also do have a mini split uh, which can heat and cool, but in the winter time we use our tiny little wood burning stove. And then we have a LCD TV above it, which comes out in front of the stove when it's on. We don't have any issues with heating or any melting or anything. Yeah, any like melting that. of plastic. We get that question asked a lot. Yeah. So going into our well, here's our living room. It's tiny. It's currently 55 inches because that's how big the couch is right now. 59. 59. So we plan on getting a larger couch and we'll probably modify this bottom step so we can maximize the space. Cause that's kind of like our only, one of our only complaints is not being able to have a big enough couch. Yeah, so we, we plan on extending that out a little bit once we find the perfect couch. So if you have any suggestions, let us know. <laughs> We're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. So here is our barn door ladder. So a function, it's a solid core door with a reclaimed wood on the outside. It functions as our ladder and our door to close off the space. And so we'll have Shelly uh, take you up and show you the, uh, the main loft, or the secondary loft. All right, so in the loft here, you see all of our hanging clothes, it's seven feet deep. So we have quite a bit of clothes hanging, um, even some missing. We packed a lot of it recently for a little trip we're going on, but it holds a, a, like a ton of stuff. It's kind of the same amount of storage we used to have in our old house. And then we have a drawers over here, which we now use for our clothes. So you can see there are eight total. So that holds as much as any regular dresser would hold. Um, and then over here is the vanity which I do actually use. I didn't think I was gonna use it, but I do actually use it. So pretty much storage. Um, yeah, girly stuff, get ready. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> so we have plenty of room for, you know, a lot of people say when they live in a tiny house that they don't have that much clothes, but we kept most of ours. We have dress clothes, suits, dresses, jackets, sweaters, all that stuff. And it's actually more closet space in our tiny house than we had in our old 50s rental that we lived in before. Yeah. So you can definitely make it work no matter what your needs are. So, and this is proof. <laughs> so, and then underneath our stairs, we showed that we have a couple floor ottomans that we store extra blankets and pillows in. Um, and then we have a couple wicker baskets which store blankets and whatnot. And then our mini office, which is basically my printer, and then our backgammon board underneath it. And then going into the bathroom, we have our full corner shower, which is 39 inches, and it's a full corner, so it's very spacious. Um, it's a great, great shower. And we have a we had a custom made epoxy floor, so we can be able to uh, we were able to make it any color we want. And the epoxy floor allowed for the full height of the shower to fit in underneath the beams of the loft, since our loft beams are only six foot three. 
And then we have a little Ikea 17 inch vanity, uh, which fits in the space perfect. And then an Ikea medicine cabinet, uh, which holds all our toiletries and whatnot. And then we have a nice a big window for venting. And then the separate composting toilet, uh, which works great, feels like a regular toilet. We have no complaints about it. Women friendly. Women friendly. <laughs> and then our LG uh, combo washer dryer unit. And then, you know, all our storage and laundry detergents and whatnot. So that's a little tour of our tiny house. And uh, we thank you guys for coming in and taking a look. Um, we've been in here for, we've been in here for about a year and a half now. And it's been great living in the space and it's been really easy to adapt. So one thing we always recommend is just designing, you know, a house to fit your needs. Yeah, be realistic. Yeah, whether it's 20 feet, 20 feet, 28 feet, 36 feet, uh, build it for yourself. And um, like in our space, we have lots of windows and it gives that really open uh, floor plan that makes it feel much larger than it is. Yeah, definitely. So, and the window helps. Yes, absolutely. It so, is our favorite feature. Yeah, yes, it is. So you can follow us on Instagram at tinyhousebasics.com and then also on our website at Tiny House Basics uh, for our tiny house trailers and our tiny house shells that we design and build. So thanks for uh, coming along, and then we'll see you next time.